IG, Daniel Casey one ncf tapping in with you. And tonight's live, daily survival tip number 20. Persevere, regardless or no matter whom or what. Persevere, no matter whom or what. That is our daily survival tip number 20. Uh, this is so necessary because one thing is for certain you're gonna meet uh you're gonna um run into some obstacles in your life right there's always obstacles there are always things that present themselves in our paths that may slow us down that may um present us with a problem present us with an issue present us with a challenge something that we have to meet and overcome the goal in life is to meet and overcome all or as many obstacles you know the goal is to meet and overcome all obstacles in your path um, and though we, yeah, by the time we're five years old, we've probably, you know, met some obstacles and weren't able to overcome them, right? And so we fall short of the goal of meeting and overcoming every obstacle in our path. But if we're striving, if we're trying to condition ourselves, as we're taught um, in the FOI, you know, uh, we're constantly training and conditioning ourselves to meet and overcome all obstacles in our path. So if you're training yourself, if you're conditioning yourself, if you're preparing yourself um, for situations and circumstances that might befall you, that you may find yourself in, um, that, you know, in times of uncertainty, you may not have control, you may not have access, or you may not have sway over all of the variables um, in any given situation or circumstance. But when you meet these obstacles, if you are training and conditioning yourself, if you are preparing yourself for them, then the likelihood that you overcome them intensifies. It, it, it goes up, right? So there's a key word there in persevere. Um, to persevere is to continue to attempt, to continue to try to meet and overcome those obstacles regardless of um, whatever the situation or circumstances, even if it appears that you might not win, even if it appears that you may not succeed, to persevere means you're going to continue to try regardless to whom or what. Um, these obstacles can be people. These obstacles can be finances. These obstacles can be um, certain lower desires like sex, like food, like sleep like um, an ailment, and it can be an ailment that is, uh, you know, naturally occurring, meaning you might have some kind of um, genetic disability, you may have some kind of learning disability, you may have some kind of um, malformation, you may have some kind of um, something that is not right with you, right? Mentally, emotionally, or physically. Uh, and these obstacles, while they do exist, aren't an excuse or shouldn't be taken as an excuse or reason to try to avoid an obstacle or try to, um, you know, shy away from them. We should meet them, meet and overcome all the obstacles in your path. That's what perseverance is about. So persevere no matter what. I don't care who comes to you and says, you know, whatever um, their experience was with an obstacle, that was their experience. You're coming with a whole nother mind. You're coming with a whole nother set of experience. You're coming with a whole nother drive. Thank you. Um, we got Take Wom um, tapping in with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, appreciate you. Uh, but you, it doesn't matter what someone comes and says to you. Man, I tried that before, bro. It's not even worth it. Yeah, it might not have been worth it for you to persevere through that, but I, I, I'm coming with something different to the table. I feel that I can make it. You don't let no one deter you from trying to meet and overcome that obstacle. You don't let any physical disabilities. You don't let anything. If you know you have a goal and you're striving towards that goal and you're constantly training and conditioning yourself and then an obstacle appears in your path, know that it was not put there by happenstance. It wasn't um, put in your path by mistake. Some people believe and some people don't believe. I believe that everything happens by the active or the permissive will of God, meaning God actively um, uses his will to make the world what it is. And then there are things that God permits um, being that we have free will uh, because we are to be tried. You know, we are to be um, 
thrown into the fire, the flame of affliction. We're to be, you know, tested and to be sorted out according to those who actually make an effort to exercise their will for the greater good. Exercise their will to meet and overcome those obstacles. You don't have to believe as I believe. And this, this, this channel, this live, this isn't about belief. This isn't about, um, you know, faith or anything, even though I do speak about those subjects. Um, not so often, but I do touch on them. You know, the reality is this. This is survival and preparedness. I talk about survival and preparedness. When you're talking about survival and preparedness, you're not preparing for... Well, you might prepare for the good times, right? But when we, you think about survival and preparedness, you're thinking about the potential that a tough time may befall you. And you're putting yourself in a position to meet and overcome that. So right there, acknowledging that there's a need to prepare for survival is acknowledging the reality that everything is sweet. That something can happen, something can go wrong. And there's no point in preparing for a day or a time where, you know, situations or circumstances have gotten to a degree where the variables are out of your control. Um, there's no point in even entertaining that if you in, uh, intend that an obstacle path comes across your path that you're going to give up, right? So if you're listening to this, if you're giving this any thought, if you're, if you're giving anything I talk about on this page, any thought, any consideration, um, I appreciate you, first of all, for checking out my content. But second of all, know that if you're preparing, you're preparing for obstacles, obstacles that are way. They're inevitable. You're not going to get past that. Everybody in their life that lived past two seconds years old, newborn babies face obstacles. Once a baby passes through the birth canal, it is not uh, a guarantee that that child would live through the night. It is not a guarantee that that child would live to see one years old. It's not a guarantee that that child would make it out of that hospital facility. You're meeting and overcoming obstacles on your way through the birth canal. Point blank period. That's actual facts. So don't think that the world is done with you. Meet and overcome every obstacle in your path. Again, this is daily survival tip number 20. Persevere. No matter what. No matter whom. I don't care. Um, if you like this content, if you feel like you got anything of value from it, you know, leave a comment in the comment section after I um, save it and share it um, onto IG. Also, go back and check out some of my older lives. I've been doing daily survival tips. Um, these aren't quick tips. These are typically, you know, between 10 to 30 minutes. Some are even longer than that that I've done. Uh, and it is intentional to be like that. I don't have a set time for it, <clears throat> except that I want to do one every single day. Um, that being said, check it out. Go back and, and watch them. Look at the titles and maybe something catches your eye. Check it out if you found something interesting in it. Leave me a comment, um, share it, like it, help me um, spread the word to other people who need a word, who need some guidance, who needs a little bit of push to get started and putting something aside, putting together a plan. Because if you're paying attention to the world, if you're paying attention to any arena, the political, the, uh, the financial, the social, if you're paying attention to um, agriculture, trade and commerce, if you're paying attention to what's going on in science and technology, if you're paying attention to what's going on in the housing market, if you're paying attention to what's going on with the climate, if you're paying attention to the world at all, even in the entertainment industry, it's showing signs that everything is coming crumbling down. If you're paying attention to it and you see what I see, then you know that you don't have to be a fanatic, you don't have to be, you know, gung-ho and all that, but you need to be starting to put some kind of provisions aside. You need to be looking at, okay, if things go all the way to the left, because we experienced the last year and a half, the last two years, but if things go that bad again, first of all, would you re if, if, if you had to relive the last year and a half, the last two years, would you have prepared? If somebody said, okay, we're going to rewind, I'm going to give you six months, we're going to go back to six months before COVID jumped off, and I'm going to give you, if Madison someone had the power to do that, what would you do different in that six months? You'd probably say, well, no, you're right. Maybe I it was market toilet paper. Maybe I should have had this. If I would have had that, it would have been a little bit different. You would prepare, right? If you knew. Well, look at the climate. Look what's going on in the world right now and look at what has already transpired. What can you do now to put something in place so that if things go to the left again and they go further to the left than they did this past year and a half, that you know that regardless of whom or what, you have some kind of provisions put aside for yourself for your family, for your community, for your loved ones that can, to some degree, give you a peace of mind, to some degree, help you through those times of uncertainty. That's what we're here for. And so this is Daily Survival Tip number 20. 
persevere no matter whom or what. Brother Daniel Casey, 1NCF, signing out. Peace.